before that, he's bringing us a taste of Scotland. We've been looking forward to this all morning. We really have. It's uh, the Hebridean baker, uh, Cunyoch MacLeod, and he's got his book here, and uh, he's going to make us a very special pie. And we first talked, I think, when we were locked down, you couldn't, we couldn't get out, we yeah. took down the line. So yeah. we, we were, were in the we studio. We were having a week early from the Hebrides last time. That's so, right. But it's so nice to be here. Sometimes well, you look at someone's me. life and think, I'd like to live that <laughs> life. Your life looks amazing. Ah, uh, thank you so much. Uh, I mean, we we live still in the Hebrides, myself and my partner, Peter, and um, yeah, the book is just all about our adventures and, well, what we make, and I think I'm making you a wee treat today. And you're, but part of your life is, is off-grid. Yes, yeah, we have a hut which uh, no running water, no electricity, um, big stove, very cosy. Um, but we love it. I we absolutely it sounds love amazing. it. Come and visit. Come and visit. Uh, we're right there. Um, <laughs> if you're going to be cooking something like this, we're definitely here. So this is cockaliki pie. Yeah, you probably know, Holly, that, um, well, Scotland, we are good at making soup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you've got Cullen skink, you've got yeah. Scotch broth, and cockaliki soup, which, of course, is one of our absolute classics. But you know what? I've made this into a pie. Okay. So all the classic flavours of... Flavourings, but then into Yeah, pie. so the chicken, the oh, it's just leeks. about to pick this spoon up. <laughs> Go for it. That'll do. But watch yourself, because it's really hot. I really are. Right, I'll So, um, actually, just to start, uh, leeks are such an important part of this pie. Yeah. So they're going to go in, ha in, in at the moment. And they're just going to soften... In butter. In butter, uh, before you make a roux out of the, uh, the butter and, and the mm -hmm. flour. And simply all we're doing here is taking all those beautiful flavours, slow cooking them and putting them into this Take pie. your time, take <laughs> your time, yeah. Well, funny you say that because a big part of, I suppose, the book and the storyline, there's... I, I remember being on this um, Danish radio show and you remember there was that big thing about Huga mm. a few oh, yeah. years ago? And they asked me, is there a, is there a Gaelic... Is there a Gaelic Is that version? a hop coming on? Do we need to... That's, there you go. That's, is it coming on? That's, that's a good point, Holly. If it comes on, that'll definitely There you go, that have. one's on now. That Hold one's on. on. OK, Hold let's on. try Can that one. Can you do one. that one? <laughs> <Yes>. Whack-a-mole. <laughs> Gas whack-a-mole. That's because you're living off-grid. You normally yeah, light, exactly, light a fire. Exactly. Yeah. Much more reliable. So they were asking, you know, is there a, is there a Gaelic word for, for Huga? Oh, right. And there sort of is, there's a beautiful word in Gaelic, uh, blas, blas, which is blas. kind of contentment and, and warmth. I mean, that's uh, it, isn't it? And so maybe we're doing a wee bit of Hebridean hygge today. Mm -hmm. That's a lovely <laughs> thought. That is a lovely thought. This is absolutely delicious. So that's delicious. leeks that have gone in the butter, which you're doing leeks, slowly, yeah, and then on top and of then that, the you flour put... has gone in. Yeah. And basically, that's going to turn into, eventually, it's going to turn into a lovely roux, like nice and thick when that bubbles away. And then what we have here is the prunes. And the prunes are, they're just going to nearly disappear. Like when you look at it, you can't really see Not it. It's really, just going to no. kind of sweetness. Uh, but to, that to wouldn't be in a normal cockaliki yeah. soup, or is it? Yeah, yeah. so the original, oh, so, I mean, cockaliki comes from Ching's, like the 1600s, 1700s was the first time that cockaliki oh, really? was seen in a, in a cookbook. And uh, so, so the prunes will mm. be in an, 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 an original. So we would just put those in. Obviously, we can't let it slow cook too much today, but because it's chicken as well, a wee bit of tarragon is always tarragon. lovely. Yeah. Mm. Mm. It's so, so nice. So that's going to go in there, uh, and that's just going to kind of like slow cook a wee bit. Mm -hmm. And I don't know about you, but I love, you know, I would ask Philip if you're a breast or a thigh Thine. man. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm a thigh man as yeah. well. Um, and so I always use thighs. If you're going to slow cook a recipe... Because they don't dry out. They, they don't dry they out. Don't. You get them a little bit more forgiving. They are a bit more forgiving, exactly. So once that kind of bubbles away then, I'm going to just put in the chicken thighs. Oh, I'm already And those are boneless, this. are they boneless? Yeah, they're yeah. boneless, yeah. And even though there's a wee bit of fat on them, that's just going to melt away yeah. as well in, in, so in the recipe. So much more flavour. In, in so much more yeah. flavour, yeah, exactly. Definitely. I mean, oh, when, with, with the book, the goal of the book is definitely to... Um, oh, and some stock, of course, that's going to go in too. Chicken um, stock? The chicken stock, exactly. Yeah. Uh, is, is to make kind of recipes for a cosy a cosy night in. Oh, God, yeah, absolutely. And as it's getting colder, I mean, here, you suddenly just ready for it. I feel yeah. like you just want to close the curtains. 
Exactly. You know, and eat something with a pie lid on it, just like this. Do you cover? Do you, do you... you would cover that and leave that for probably about an hour. And then, do you know what? If you can cool it, it's even better. So that's it all cooled and all... Oh, my goodness, I could literally just eat all yeah. that now. But we're going to put a little bit of pastry on top. Here. Now, um... So that's quite good. You don't need to worry about a soggy bottom. You don't that, need to worry about a soggy bottom, a bottom at all. Um, but what you do need to do is decorate it a wee bit as well. Now, yeah. um, I usually... You know how you get cookie cutters? Yeah. Um, well, I've got a cocky cutter at home cutter. That, that I made the way... <laughs> Can't right. wait to see that shape. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> so obviously, if you don't have your own cocky cutter, um, then you can make, you know, you can, can make you get one them yourself. On Amazon? Yeah, I think you can. <laughs> yeah, I think you can. And then obviously, you just brush the pie like that. Oh, I mean, look. Oh God, the eggs are looking lovely. Um, it's like and gold. Then it is like gold. So you know, you would do that beautifully like that. Yep. But come here, Holly. Look at this. I know. Beautiful pie beside you. I know, I'm stunning. actually going to get myself a wee bit Go on, you as have well. one, because we've got our miniature ones here, and it is lovely. It's all of those things that you described there. It's really oh, also, warming the thing and is, lush. That, that's really quite easy. Oh, it's so easy to do. Yeah. I was waiting for the really complicated thing. So, so you, you, once you've, you've, you've done that for an hour, with, with a lid on the top, with all of your ingredients, then you're in your pie dish with the... With the Pre-bought pastry on the top. Yeah. How long does that go in the oven for? That'll go in the oven for about 45 minutes, just till you get that lovely kind of toasty look on the top. Mm -hmm. And then you've got your mashed potatoes, a wee bit of greens. Yeah. Get the fire on. Cuddle oh, on the couch. Oh, right, Perfect. I'm booking my ticket. I'm on my way. Thank there you, you go. so much. It's Thank all you. in here with a whole load more uh, and some beautiful pictures uh, as well. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you.